curiosity curve questions are the answers how do wounds heal skin is the largest organ larger than your brain or heart different skin surface perform the same function like sweating sensing heat cold and growing hair but a newly healed skin will look and feel different depending on the nature of the wound to understand why this happens let's take a look at how wounds are healed the outer skin layer epidermis gives first level of protection and is very easy to repair when a wound reaches dermis the second skin layer body quickly gets into action since there is a risk of germs getting into the body and cause infection our body triggers the four overlapping stages of the regenerating process stage 1 stop the bleeding in this stage the skin responds to two immediate threats that is blood loss and damage of the outer protective layer to prevent blood loss blood vessels narrow to stop blood flow and platelets rush to the site fibrin a special long strand protein acts like glue and help platelets to clump and stick to the wound opening this forms a clot and stops bleeding It also acts as a barrier preventing blood from flowing out and germs from getting in. Stage 2, inflammation begins. After some time, skin begins to turn red and swelling happens, signaling next stage. With bleeding under control and barriers secure, special cells known as macrophages are sent to the scene. They eat bacterial and damaged tissue preventing infection. They also produce chemicals that repair the injured area. Stage 3, skin rebuilds. In about 2 to 3 days, the skin rebuilding process starts. Blood cells arrive to start building new skin. They give wound oxygen and nutrients it needs to heal. Special cells enter the wound and produce a fibrous protein called collagen. They form skin tissue and replace fibrin from before. Slowly second layer dermis contract to close the wound and outer protective layer is rebuilt. You might see a scar which starts red but should fade with time. Stage 4 the home stretch. Finally in the fourth and last stage wound maturing takes place. That is making the new skin as strong as before. There can be visible stretching or wrinkling around the wound as the replacement tissues take over. total healing can take days months or even years but depending on the severity of the injury skin might not fully recover and leave a scar behind 